Hey there, it's Tom Corson Knowles, number one best-selling author of the Kindle Publishing Bible series. And right now in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a clickable table of contents inside your Kindle eBooks using Microsoft Word. So right here, I've just opened up a brand new Word document. And the first thing you want to do when you're starting a Word document and formatting for Kindle is you want to go up to the top right, click Change Styles, choose Style Set, and choose Simple. Now make sure your child, your your uh, style set is on simple because that's going to make it just look better on Kindle and it's not going to use any weird kind of formatting stuff. So when you start typing your book, you have like chapter one, chapter two, you have these different headings. What you want to do is come up to the top and use the style settings to make all of your chapter headings heading one. So any chapter heading, uh, an introduction, anything you want to be included in the table of contents ought to be a heading one. Now you can also use heading twos and include those in your table of contents. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated, uh, but I don't do that. I just use heading one and only include main chapters in the table of contents because I don't like to see a table of contents on Kindle eBooks that has you know 50 or 100 uh, different things in the table of contents. It's just a bit much. So once you have your whole book formatted properly with the heading one for each chapter, what you can do is come up here and just type in table of contents. And I actually make my table of contents heading one as well, and that's a really neat trick because you want your table of contents to actually appear in the table of contents. And the reason is when you're on a Kindle reader and you click uh, go to the table of contents, it doesn't actually take you to that page where the table of contents is located. It just has a, a screen that lists the different items. And sometimes users like to actually go to the actual page where the table of contents is listed on. And so by making your table of contents heading one, it makes it easier for readers who want to do that. Now once you've formatted everything correctly and you're ready to insert your table of contents, all you have to do is come up to the top, hit References, hit Table of Contents, and then click Insert Table of Contents. Okay, so here's what you want to do with the settings. First of all, you want to click Show Page Numbers and uncheck that box right there. You do not want to show page numbers. Then you want to make sure that right here using hyperlinks instead of page numbers is selected exactly what you want to do. Finally, where it says show levels here, you want to use level one, which means only heading ones will be shown in the table of contents. Now, if you want to use heading twos as well, uh, they will be listed as sub listings in the table of contents. You can use those as well. You just click show two levels. You can also use three levels, four levels, and even five levels or more. That's really just not at all what you need. It's way more than you need for Kindle books. So just use level one or two. I always use level one because it keeps it table of contents nice and clean. It makes it easier for readers to navigate around the book. It just makes it quicker and easier and cleaner for them to do that. So once you've selected those options, just click OK. And you'll see right here the table of contents has been automatically generated. And the way to test the table of contents to make sure it's clickable in Microsoft Word is just control click the link. If you do that, it'll take you to the spot where that link leads to. So the first one leads to chapter one, second one leads to chapter two, etc. So that's all you need to do to insert a clickable table of contents uh, in your Kindle books using Microsoft Word. If you have any questions, just post them in the comment below. I will be happy to answer and help you out if you have any challenges with this. Uh, but again, you can just go through the video again slowly. Make sure you use proper heading ones. Make sure you're using the simple style set in Microsoft Word. And if you're doing that, then your table of contents should be just fine. Okay? Have an incredible day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.